It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another video for Season 6 of Fear the Walking Dead. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some Easter eggs that were in the last episode that we saw, Season 6, Episode 8. Now, there was another Easter egg with reference to Rick Grimes himself in the last episode, which we talked about on a separate video. But in this video, I just want to do another quick Easter eggs video to talk about some other Easter eggs that were in this episode. Now, I'm not going to be doing an Easter eggs video for each episode, but in this case, I thought that it would make sense because there is some very interesting Easter eggs that they had. So with that said, stick around. We'll be right back to talk more about these Easter eggs. All right, before we get into this, as always, if you're not a subscriber and enjoy the content by the end, consider subscribing to join our community, share and smash the like button and press the bell to be notified when we upload. So with that said, let's dive right into it. So obviously this episode was a pretty big John episode and there was a lot of focus on John and June's relationship. In fact, one of the biggest moments in this episode was a direct callback or easter egg to june and john's first encounter and we'll get to that but aside from that there was also callbacks and kind of connections to morgan's first introduction on fear the walking dead and how it was john himself that found morgan in multiple instances morgan brought that back and kind of reminded john that it was john who saved morgan and morgan basically wanted to save John just like John saved him in the past. So there was definitely a lot of great callbacks in that regard. But aside from that, the biggest Easter egg was the final moment of this episode. I've been pretty vocal about my disappointment about what they did when it comes to how they killed off John. You can actually go check that out. We did an entire video on that. But aside from the death itself, the final scenes I absolutely loved and I absolutely loved what they did circling things back around and having things go full circle. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to go back to the episode where John found June. In that episode, it was actually John who was in his cabin and June washed up to shore and it was John who saved her. Similarly, in this episode, it's none other than John Dory who washes up to shore and it's June who goes out to save him. But this time around, obviously, June finds John as a walker and has to put him down. So it's kind of like a callback and a way to circle things back around, make things go full circle. But at the same time, it's not exactly the same because obviously June is alive she didn't die when she washed up to shore, but John is dead. But at the same time, like I said, I absolutely loved what they did with things coming full circle. Now, what's very interesting is that I did find this particular shot of June from one of the upcoming episodes that I absolutely loved. She looks like a badass and it definitely seems like things may have pushed her over the edge. Like things may have triggered her to a point where she wants vengeance. And obviously I'm referring to going after Dakota. I hope we at least see a storyline where June goes after Dakota to kill her and doesn't listen to anyone and wants to do what she wants to do. So that'll be awesome to see. And I absolutely love that in this particular shot of June, she actually looks a lot like Maggie. It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens with June and whether she in fact goes after Dakota and if she does, what's everyone else's perspective on things is there going to be a situation where they're going to try to stop her or are they going to be right by her side to help her and it's going to be interesting to see where morgan stands morgan finding out that it was dakota who saved him may actually impact the decision that he's going to make when it comes to what to do with dakota now i've also talked about how i think that that storyline was forced that storyline meaning the story where it was revealed that Dakota saved Morgan, but that's beside the point. 
the point is that it's going to be interesting to see whether we're going to see two different sides of things and whether June and Morgan are going to take separate angles on where they stand on this war and whether we're going to see a situation where June is going to want to kill not only Dakota but maybe Ginny herself but maybe Morgan and the others would want to kind of make a deal with them or something along those lines and also it's going to be extremely interesting to see where other characters like Charlie stand on this because obviously she's been there she did the same thing to Nick so it would be pretty hypocritical if she sides with Morgan and the others it'll actually be pretty awesome if Charlie's the one that helps June kill Dakota there's a lot of different angles they could go with this it's just a matter of which one are they gonna go with and how far are they willing to go if you know what I mean but that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about in this video I hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to share and smash the like button if you're not a subscriber and enjoy the content subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when we upload that's it for this video see you next time for another super video